Using convolution theorem, obtain the inverse Laplace transform of the function. The function is a given s square upon s square plus a square and this whole square. Okay. Now solution using convolution theorem, find inverse Laplace transform. Now let s square upon s square plus a square whole square. We split one is required f bar of s and j bar of s. Now f bar of s is take one this part s upon s square plus a square and one more is g bar of s is again s upon s square plus a square now f of t f of t means inverse f bar of s inverse of s upon s square plus a square is a simple cos a t using standard function cos a t similarly g of t so inverse of g bar of s g bar of s this inverse of s upon s square plus s square is again cos a t now by applying by applying convolution theorem convolution theorem is okay inverse of using convolution theorem f bar of s into g bar of s is equal to this is a left hand side the right hand side is a integration of u is equal to 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u with respect to u this is convolution theorem so f of u means this is f of t you take f of u now inverse of s square upon s square plus a square whole square and this is equal to f of u means this is f of t take f of t is equal to u integration of u is equal to 0 to t and this is f of u means cos a u into g of t g of t but g of t minus u now t become t minus u is like this cos of is a t minus a u is a g of t minus u with respect to u now now in this one using standard formula standard formula is cos a into cos b is a formula 1 by 2 into cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b using standard formula and right hand side is integration u is equal to 0 to t now using this formula 1 upon uh, 1 by 2 okay I'll try to 1 by 2 outside and cos of a plus b now cos of a means a u plus b means plus a t minus a u plus cos of a minus b a this minus b means minus t a t plus a u with respect to u okay now see this one now cos of plus a u minus a u get cancelled and this is equal to integration 1 by 2 integration of u is equal to 0 to t okay cos a t the first term in the second term is is a 2 times a u cos of 2 a u minus a t with respect to u okay now you integrate 1 by 2 integration of cos cos sorry cos with respect to u is there cos a t is a constant so cos a t is a constant now 1 is remaining integration of 1 with respect to u is u only with limit 0 to t plus integration of cos is a sign with respect to u, u is variable is there is a sign of 2 a u minus a t divided by constant constant is 2 a u divided by constant is 2 a with limit 0 to t this is equal to 1 by 2 cos a t put u is equal to upper limit t minus lower limit u is equal to 0 plus 1 upon 2 a is outside 
now put u is equal to t to a t minus a t is a sine a t only minus lower limit u is equal to 0 minus a t sine minus t is a minus sine theta like this you know that sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta general form okay now minus minus plus then it is a sine a t once again and this is equal to 1 by 2 this 0 t into cos a t 2 times sin a t ok 2 times sin a t means 2 to cancel remaining plus sin a t by a 2 and 2 times sin a t 2 to cancel ok now now therefore inverse Laplace is s square upon s square plus a square and this whole square is equal to I'll take 1 by a outside means 1 upon 2a inside is multiplied by a1a a t cos a t plus sin a t now this is required solution